So, Julie, are you feeling anything? Yes. Actually, I am. Oh, what is it? I feel very tall in these shoes. Oh, I, I meant, are you feeling anything for your reading circle? Are you getting any messages? No. Uh, but I, you're just going to come to a door. <laughs> So, are you feeling anything now? Yes. Oh, I am. Okay. I'm very hot because the air conditioner in my car isn't working. Oh, okay. I, I was talking about the, the reading circle again. What about it? Are you getting any messages? No, not right now. Except for the fact that you should stop filming because I'm about to cross oh, oh. the intersection. Oh, okay, okay. Are you filming me again? Yeah. Gundam, we're almost there. Oh, okay. I need to calm down. I'm not getting anything yet. The angels usually don't, like, put the camera down. Oh, okay. okay. So it's about a half an hour till the circle. Are you getting anything now? Okay. So, do you feel anything now? Yes. <clears throat> Oh, okay. To my uh, angel reading circle. As some of you know, my name is Julie Robinson, and I'm an angel intuitive, a medium, and a teacher in the fields of self-development, spiritual, and psychic growth. I'm going to start right here. What's your name, Sarah? Sarah. Sarah. So, Sarah, I heard that you have questions about what is your life purpose. Is that true? And um, how do you connect to teacher? I am one. You are a teacher. Okay. So the angels just brought up those two pieces because I like them to bring up things that only you would know. Um, but um, the reason I'm saying that is because when I asked the angels, should she have bought the thing? I get no. And then I said, well, why did she buy it? And they said, because she thinks she needs it. And I said, why is that? And they said, because she puts like an enormous amount of pressure on herself to get things done. But it's more importantly to get things done like in a certain way. Mm -hmm. They said that you have a vision for things and that your expectations are like way up here where like nobody can reach them and like not even you. And they're like, can you go back to April when we gave you messages and can you follow those actually? <laughs> Do you Possibly. understand why I, why, <laughs> tell me, why am I saying that? Because I have no they idea. they keep giving me the same, same stuff. Over and over. <laughs> and I'm just such a rebel. Why <laughs> <laughs> like the ice cream? Yeah. Because I just bought that other It's <laughs> not your line, is it? No. You don't no. make ice cream? No. <laughs> My mom's kind of weird. <laughs> she, oh, she just like gave you, maybe she's she gave me a weird thing. But, um, so I want to talk about, there's like a sadness here or a depression. Do you connect to that? Yeah. And, oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be no. I'm gonna go down tonight. I know it's too late. No matter what my plans are, I'm always gonna go down. Is that really your bed? Make people cry. But it's still helpful, right? Because aren't you learning from every reading that I'm giving tonight? Why do I feel like this is connected to your death? Are you getting stuff too well? Yes, I am. Because <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. Did you just feel her suffering? Oh, I kind of did, yeah. 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 So your mom's an empath, too. Hello? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> See, she's playing an innocent, but she's not. <laughs> okay, I have to say 
have to say this because I'm hearing it. And because I've already started it now. I can't it. <laughs> you taught her that. Oh! Don't play innocent. <laughs> True? Fair? True. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Fair. I'm not giving you shit. I'm What's your name? Tara. Tara, um, are you like not in alignment with your purpose? Because why do I feel like you're also an earth angel and you've got like so much stuff to do and you're super gifted and super talented? But, like you kind of know that, but you're not really sure if you know that, and like you kind of hear things, <laughs> but you're like, I don't think I'm hearing things, and <laughs> like something in your family's also gifted. Is that true? Totally. All that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how good the angels are? <laughs> I just made me cry. At least I made her cry from like a positive thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like feeling kind of guilty. Yeah. Like, this is all these like intense like trauma <laughs> stories. But at least I made you cry like validating for you that your angels want to acknowledge your special gifts in this life. They're like, you're an earth fairy. You're super gifted. You're like Tinkerbell. And you have to stop questioning it and just follow us already. know that they completely support you, but you super analyze. <laughs> You're like, what does that mean? And I don't quite know yet. <laughs> What's your name again? Nicola. Nicola. Why should I just hear that you're too hard on yourself? And um, I also saw that you get that from your mom. Tendency for mom? Let me show you how, because I know you don't know what I'm talking about. Feel like your mother wasn't there in some capacity, whether it was emotional or she acted in a way that was hurtful to us. Do you understand that? And that we blamed ourselves and said it's my fault as a little child. Does that, I hope that makes sense. And he's like, sorry for everything that he did, but why do I feel that you still carry him? Next. What's your name? Shay. Shay? How do you spell Shay? S-H-E-A. S-H-E-A. There's a lot of kind of basic messages that want to come through for you. Do you suffer from depression? I don't think so. Okay. The reason why I asked, well, you would know. <laughs> yeah. The reason why I asked that is because they showed me like kind of like a dark energy around you. It's so like almost like a brown energy, which is my symbol for like depression. Um, the other symbol that it can be for is a lot of stress and a lot of worry. Do you carry a lot of stress and worry? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. Know that your angels want you to kind of work to clear that up. They also mentioned that you've gotten a lot of messages around your diet. Is that true? Yeah, it's always on my mind. It's always on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So know that when you're getting those messages about like, you should eat celery today and you know stop eating so much meat or dairy, that's actually not you. Oh. I get that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Angel guidance is very repetitive. It will come to us a minimum of three times. Oh. Yes. And until you follow that message, it's just going to keep coming back. Good to know, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> know that that's Archangel Raphael that is around you. He's just saying it will brighten up your energy a little bit, give you more energy. Because they referenced that you always feel tired. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when you're tired, you've been communicating that to your angels. They are aware of that. And so their way, their way of trying to answer your prayer is by giving you a message, right? Eat healthier exercise a little bit more, and then you'll get some more energy and you'll start to sleep a lot better. Yeah. So it's about a half an hour till the circle. Are you getting anything now? 